EAX, which was launched a month ago at Davos with Rwandan President Kagame, is an initiative by the Rwandan government focused on empowering African farmers. The exchange will provide them with access to storage and credit, allowing them to be more effective market players, eventually enabling their integration into the global market. And joining us now to chat about more and about the prospects for the EAX specifically is COO John Bosco Sababi. Thanks so much, uh, Josco, for joining us uh, today. Let's get straight into uh, a look at things here. I mean, a month on, what have you been able to put in place? Uh, run us through the work that you've been able to progress through. Thank you, Alicia. Uh, what we've, been, we've done through is after the launch, we've organized our office, basically. We've gotten the CEO in place, Paul Kukubo. I think you read this in the papers and got myself on board. I'm starting mid next month. So this basically organization work has been going on, but we also have a host of advisors. We've got um, Rod from the suffix, mm -hmm. work set it up. We've got Stella Kironzo, who's advising us on regulatory issues. And we've got uh, Clive, who's advising us on the products. So we've got that already in place. So you've got the skills base to actually get this thing off the ground. Let's take a look at the target set in terms of what you're looking at when it comes to volumes of commodities traded here and how you're effectively going to start spurring things along. Well, uh, an exchange basically uh, removes uh, asymmetric information. That means there's, uh, the, the producers do not have a lot of information as the buyers. So the exchange will remove this information to bring about price transparency, where we, we, we look at this as we spur growth and uh, pro more production in agricultural products. Because we start with agricultural products mm -hmm. and then go on to the other sectors. There's a wide range of products that we have to look at. What are we looking at here? We're looking at first of all agricultural products. Yeah, uh, but within that agricultural space, I mean agricultural products, pretty diverse. Uh, w w what kind of categories are we looking at here? Uh, we're looking at basically, uh, th there's, when you look at the London market, the, pro the production and East African market at large or in general, even Africa. There's a whole host of and wide range of products that we have to look at. So as we begin to market, as we launch in the market, we'll have identified those products. That's where we have all the expertise. We are looking at everything else to see what we can start with and wha how we can progress. Let's take a look at the infrastructure because of course you need the right infrastructure yes. to get this off the ground. We're looking at a physical market uh, coming to the fore here. Uh, when it comes to these custodial issues and where product actually goes, how it gets transported, what kind of plans are in the pipeline? We're working with uh, Dan Technologies in South Africa that is, is, uh, has put in place the warehousing receipt system for the suffix. Mm -hmm. We're working with them to organize a warehousing receipt system in Rwanda and of course across East Africa and Africa in general. That's where we shall stem from. This will be adv advantageous to the farmers in that they will have storage facilities that will, and they will be offered the receipts which they'll be used as source of financing and more the platform will be providing all the information on the prices. So the farmers stand to benefit on two levels, on information availability, on pricing, and to, to be able to use the warehouse receipts as a source of financing or as a collateral for financing. When so. it comes to uh, price making, what mechanisms are you putting in place to make price discovery a little easier and uh, how are you dealing with uh, factors that uh, farmers are going to be bringing into the table, you know, questioning uh, governance issues and making sure that transparency is in fact on the table? Uh, the exchange is going to be operating under certain rules. And to be able to trade, there will be a kind of criteria that will be followed. So all this will be displayed to the farmers. We'll use all forms of media to communicate to the farmers, mm -hmm. to communicate to everybody on what the price is, on what the criteria is to join, and everything will be transparent. So the what farmers, is the criteria to join? Well, we we'll set up that criteria. It's by part of the rules and the regulatory framework we are setting it up. We are setting up. Okay, so all of this work in progress. Why the decision to go down this uh, physical market route? So why not take the South African model where it's based on futures trading? Well, we will start with uh, we, we start with uh, we start with the auctions. Mm -hmm. We're going to spot as the market develops. Then we go into the forwards and the futures, the futures markets. So we, we, we're taking progressively. And that progress or progressively doesn't mean in a week or a month, it could be a day, it could be two weeks. So it's just progressive, progressive kind of and phased approach. Okay, so we're looking at work in progress here. In the meantime, run us through the kind of sentiment on the ground from the farmers themselves. Uh, is there a broad understanding of what this potentially means for them if they're participative within this market? There's going to be a wide education and communication strategy and 
and and and, and plan. Mm -hmm. we, we intend to communicate the farmers, to communicate through them through the cooperatives. We are working with the means of trade and industry to do this. We are working with everybody means of agriculture. So this be information being disseminated to the lowest levels, so that everybody understands what the exchange has for them and what they stand to benefit from them. From Have it. you been engaging with farmers, uh, you know, in the run up? To this, uh, to this entire framework being set up? We've been engaged in the institutions that uh, really touch on the farmers. We've been engaged with the cooperatives, we've been engaged with the Ministry of Agriculture and Trade. So th this, this, that's the level we've started on. Then now go down lower to the low farmer, to the farmer. Just, so take us through the kind of sentiment that's, uh, that, that's doing the rounds right now. How are farmers feeling about this initiative being launched and taking off? Well, uh, the, the sentiment down on the ground is that the farmers are looking forward to this. They are looking forward to, to know what it is, first of all, what has the advantage it has for them, and they're very enthusiastic about it. Uh, this is something new for them, probably, yep. but many of them have read about it elsewhere. Uh, well, it's yeah. a progress that we'll certainly be keeping yeah. an eye on. Uh, Bosco, thanks so much for having joined us uh, this afternoon. Of course, John Bosco Zubabi is the COO of EAX.